Hi, welcome everyone to Q&A with Jean Curie. And today we will be talking about Lexio Divina. Hi, Jean. In the course of Solid Foundation, you teach that Lexio Divina is one of the best ways to consistently grow in the spiritual life. Could you please tell us what is Lexio Divina? Hi, Camila. Thank you for having me. Um, hi, everybody. Um, Lexio Divina. Lexio Divina is uh, rather more known today amongst, uh, I would say, uh, parishioners. But let us uh, just uh, clarify what it is uh, exactly. Lexio Divina is, in fact, it's a way of a prayer. In Latin, Lexio means to read, a, a reading. A divina means a spiritual, divine. But it is rather reading the scriptures. So it's not any book, it's specifically the scriptures. And uh, more so, uh, it's, it's, even get, it's even drawing its, um, uh, its identity from the liturgy, in the sense that the experience of the apostles when they broke the bread, when they celebrated every um, Sunday, as the Lord asked them uh, to do in, in his memory. When they read the scriptures, they listened to the Lord himself present among them every Sunday. So the risen Lord gives us a powerful uh, grace every Sunday. I'm talking, I'm going back in the first century. And the apostles that read the scriptures, they kept the liturgy of the, uh, of the synagogue or the temple, the first part of the Jewish uh, liturgy. But they added to it other readings. First and foremost, of course, the gospel, but as well the Act of the Apostles and as well the uh, letter of St. Paul and other letters. So the fact of being there, listening to the Word of God, it becomes a spiritual experience meeting the Lord, the risen Lord, who wants to talk to us every day. In a sense, in a sense, we can't say really, oh, lucky them, and sad, we don't have the Lord, but lucky them, they had the Lord, they could hear him and listen to him, etc. No, if, if really we enter deeply in the living faith, we understand that the risen Lord is constantly present, and as he was present 2,000 years ago, as he was walking in Galilee, in Judea and Samaria, and there until he reached uh, Jerusalem, he is walking in our cities, he walk, he's walking in our parishes, and he is engaging a conversation, but more so, he is giving us words that are spirit and life. So Lexio Divina will be that uh, extension of the first part of the liturgy or of the Mass, which is listening to his word, what he wants to say to us through the different readings. But it's one message, it's one, one meal, if you want, or one, one mouthful. So sit, taking time to sit down and listen to him, which is, I would say, the digestion, digest, digestion process after eating, after ingestion, if ingesting the, the word of God in Mass. When we take time to digest that word, that's called Lexio Divina, which means I'm sitting down in a sacred moment where I'm meeting the risen Lord, I open the scriptures and rather the daily readings of the Mass, the proclamation of the Word of God. And this becomes uh, like um, a sacrament, if you want. And today's Catholic theology tends to uh, underline the sacramental aspect of the proclamation of the Word. We have this beautiful um, sentence in uh, the document uh, on liturgy in the Council Vatican II that says, whenever the Word of God is proclaimed, um, it's Jesus himself who is present and who is, who is talking to us. I think it's the document of Dei Verbum or on the Revelation, not the Sacrosanctum Concilium. So this is Lexi Divina. Lexi Divina became then after, in the experience of the Church, the, this moment where the faithful, the bishops, the masters of spiritual life, the faithful, 
and as well, of course, the monks and the consecrated, that moment where they sat down to digest that grace that has been given to us every day in our parish. And give us this day our daily bread. The first aspect of that bread is Jesus' word. Now, listening in the biblical meaning of, of the word is to listen and to put into practice. This is fundamental. Uh, you sit down to listen, but listening in the biblical sense means I listen, I understand what he says to me, and therefore, with his grace, of course, I try to put it into practice. So, like Sri Divina, this is, it will be then translated into, I would say, more modern uh, words. It will be the time I will dedicate for this digestion process of listening, digesting, and putting into practice Jesus' word, the risen Lord who is talking to us. That's it. Thanks, Sean. That was wonderful. Let me clarify something. Does Lexi Divina only take place during the Mass? Thank you for your question. Actually, I was talking about the source of Lexi Divina, its roots, from where it comes. Of course, ideally, ideally, if it would be to take time, longer time, for the liturgy of the word, like certain communities, certain monastic communities, will take more time for the operation of listening. It's a sacramental operation happening there. So ideally, yes, it would be during the liturgy. But the thing is that the liturgy has to has to 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 continue. You no, know? you can't stop it and transform it into pure pure prayer, and that's it, personal prayer. So Lexi Divina, in fact, it's an extension of the Mass. It's not the Mass itself, but it, even though it comes from the Mass, it's the time you will take at home. You will take in a, in a, a really sacred place that you will, you will prepare and set up for yourself, you see? So that, that, that's it. So it's not during the Mass, it's either before or after the Mass. You know that this grace has been given to you, by the coming of Jesus uh, during the Mass, say, for instance, during the week. We have Mass during the week. We don't necessarily attend Mass uh, 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 during the week. Sometimes we can't. Um, but the thing is that he gave us in the Mass this, uh, this, this present, this gift, this grace. So Lexi Divina will be then at home to, to take time in order to receive that grace. Why? Because that grace allows us to grow. That grace gives shed lights in our mind and gives us energy with his Holy Spirit to put into practice uh, his word. That was excellent. Thank you, Jean, for teaching us on what is Lexi Divina today. And thanks, everyone, for watching today's Q&A in the Spiritual Life with John Clory. Bye. Bye.